In differential geometry, a complex manifold is a manifold with an atlas of charts to the open unit disk and CN, such that the transition maps are holomorphic. The term complex manifold is variously used to mean a complex manifold in the sense above, and an almost complex manifold. Implications of complex structure Since holomorphic functions are much more rigid than smooth functions, the theories of smooth and complex manifolds have very different flavors. Compact complex manifolds are much closer to algebraic varieties than to differentiable manifolds. For example, the Whitney embedding theorem tells us that every smooth n-dimensional manifold can be embedded as a smooth sub-manifold of R2n, whereas it is rare for a complex manifold to have a holomorphic embedding into Cn. Consider for example any compact connected complex manifold M. Any holomorphic function on it is locally constant by Liouville's theorem. Now if we had a holomorphic embedding of M into Cn, then the coordinate functions of Cn would restrict to non-constant holomorphic functions on M. Contradicting compactness, except in the case that M is just a point. Complex manifolds that can be embedded in Cn are called Stein manifolds and form a very special class of manifolds including, for example, smooth complex affine algebraic varieties. The classification of complex manifolds is much more subtle than that of differentiable manifolds. For example, while in dimensions other than 4, a given topological manifold has at most finitely many smooth structures. A topological manifold supporting a complex structure can and often does support uncountably many complex structures. Riemann surfaces, two-dimensional manifolds equipped with a complex structure, which are topologically classified by the genus, are an important example of this phenomenon. The set of complex structures on a given orientable surface, modular biholomorphic equivalents, itself forms a complex algebraic variety called a moduli space, the structure of which remains an area of active research. Since the transition maps between charts are biholomorphic, complex manifolds are, in particular, smooth and canonically oriented CN gives an orientation, as biholomorphic maps are orientation preserving. Examples of complex manifolds Riemann surfaces Calabio manifolds the Cartesian product of two complex manifolds, the inverse image of any non-critical value of a holomorphic map, smooth complex algebraic varieties smooth complex algebraic varieties are complex manifolds, including complex vector spaces, complex projective spaces, PN, complex Grassmannians, complex Lie groups such as GL or SP. Similarly, the quaternionic analogues of these are also complex manifolds. Simply connected The simply connected one-dimensional complex manifolds are isomorphic to either delta, the unit disk and C, C, the complex plane, C, the Riemann sphere. Note that there are inclusions between these as delta C, C, but that there are no non-constant maps in the other direction, by Liouville's theorem. Disk versus space versus polydisc. The following spaces are different as complex manifolds, demonstrating the more rigid geometric character of complex manifolds. Complex space CN, the unit disk or open ball, the polydisc, almost complex structures. An almost complex structure on a real manifold is a GL structure, that is, the tangent bundle is equipped with a linear complex structure. Concretely, this is an endomorphism of the tangent bundle whose square is minus i. This endomorphism is analogous to multiplication by the imaginary number i, and is denoted j. An almost complex manifold is necessarily even dimensional. An almost complex structure is weaker than a complex structure. Any complex manifold has an almost complex structure, but not every almost complex structure comes from a complex structure. Note that every even-dimensional real manifold has an almost complex structure defined locally from the local coordinate chart. 
The question is whether this complex structure can be defined globally. An almost complex structure that comes from a complex structure is called integrable, and when one wishes to specify a complex structure as opposed to an almost complex structure, one says an integrable complex structure. For integrable complex structures the so-called niang huish tensor vanishes. This tensor is defined on pairs of vector fields x, y by for example, the six-dimensional sphere S6 has a natural almost complex structure arising from the fact that it is the orthogonal complement of I and the unit sphere of the octonions. But this is not a complex structure. Using an almost complex structure we can make sense of holomorphic maps and ask about the existence of holomorphic coordinates on the manifold. The existence of holomorphic coordinates is equivalent to saying the manifold is complex. Tensoring the tangent bundle with the complex numbers we get the complexified tangent bundle, on which multiplication by complex numbers makes sense. The eigenvalues of an almost complex structure are plus or minus i and the eigenspaces form subbundles denoted by T0, 1m and T1, 0m. The Newland and Nirenberg theorem shows that an almost complex structure is actually a complex structure precisely when these subbundles are involutive, i.e., closed under the Lie bracket of vector fields, and such an almost complex structure is called integrable. Kala and Calabio manifolds One can define an analog of a Riemannian metric for complex manifolds, called a Hermitian metric. Like a Riemannian metric, a Hermitian metric consists of a smoothly varying, positive definite inner products on the tangent bundle, which is Hermitian with respect to the complex structure on the tangent space at each point. As in the Riemannian case, such metrics always exist in abundance on any complex manifold. If the skew symmetric part of such a metric is symplectic, i.e., closed and non-degenerate, then the metric is called Kala. Kala structures are much more difficult to come by and are much more rigid. Examples of Kala manifolds include smooth projective varieties and more generally any complex sub-manifold of a Kala manifold. The Hopf manifolds are examples of complex manifolds that are not Kala. To construct one, take a complex vector space minus the origin and consider the action of the group of integers on this space by multiplication by exp. The quotient is a complex manifold whose first Betty number is 1, so by the Hodge theory, it cannot be Kala. A Calabio manifold can be defined as a compact Ricci flat Kala manifold or equivalently one whose first Chern class vanishes.